This is making me really sleepy. And here's where... No, never mind. Okay. Investigating some of these Skull Kid paintings. Maybe a Skull Chilla will hide behind a Skull Kid painting. I don't know. I'm not the designer of this game. I'm not Reggie. Time to make another Reggie joke. And there's definitely more in here, but I don't think... Oh. Well, let's see if we can find one in the ceiling. In these, like, weird rafters in the ceiling. I can definitely hear something. And I'm getting sleepy, even though it's only 2 in the afternoon. And I'm hungry. Because I snack a lot. <laughs> Usually on days when I'm just kind of inside the house. Uh... My breakfast this morning was vanilla ice cream and a banana and peanut butter, and it was good. I just I just wanted to be you know that guy and have ice cream for breakfast, so I fulfilled that duty of the day. Um, I like uh, I like that Kashi s cereal. That's I guess it's called Cinnamon Harvest now, but it's like those like shredded kind of biscuits with cinnamon in them, and. I don't know, I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, very sp spooky. Also kind of dumb looking library. Like, look at these books. These books really look real. Claim on the table. Why not? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'll stop yawning, I promise. There's one guy having a good time on top of that bookshelf. Whatever. Um, let's knock another painting down because we hate the establishment. Uh. Oh! I see. That's a thing. So. We climb the bookshelf at the other end of the room, and we try to platform our way across there. Let's try to platform our way across there. Uh, go to this one, I guess. Ooh, I just remembered, I've been watching the Democratic debates, and uh, not to make this a partisan thing, but I just want any other president than Trump right now. And uh, that was close. But uh, I think what we want is to get onto this bookshelf here and then immediately fall off. I think that's what we want to do, right? No? We're doing pretty good. Pretty good. And there we go. Alright. There's the Sculptula guy on there. That's number 23. 23 is a good number. 23 is a prime number, right? 23 is a prime number. 29 is a prime number, I think. 31 is a prime number. 37, I think, is a prime number. And, uh, 41 is probably a prime number. I'm not sure. I don't know these things. Um,. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, and you can move this bookshelf. Did I know that? Yeah, I guess I did. But there's something else you can move. Yeah, all right. That's two sculptures right there, right on top of each other. And... Okay, it looks like we're back. Link, uh, you enjoying your uh, skeleton costume there? All right. Now, is there some more stuff in the library? I believe there is. Yeah, there is. We'll come back there. Come on, man, you're not cleaning out every single cobweb in the corner? 
Now we're back at the entrance, but I don't believe there's any more thing. No, there's not anything more at the entrance. I kept being nervous that there was, but it turned out that there wasn't. And when there was, there wasn't. And a dog's got to do what a dog's got to do, what a dog's got to do, do. Never mind. I've been playing a lot of, uh, I've been, it's like, well, how did I, how didn't I see you there? I've been playing some, uh, Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP, and that game is pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty out there, and I'm starting to understand it a little bit more bit by bit. Uh, that game is, if you don't understand that game, then that's, that's fine. That game is just strange, and it's got a great sense of humor to it, and it's got kind of like a cool little like visual style gun going for it. We're back in this room, I'm not even sure there's anything more in this room, unless there happens to be something in the ceiling. Let me listen real carefully for it, and I don't, I don't hear anything. It's a shame that the torches sound kind of like a scratchy sound, but I mean I guess it's a little higher pitch than the Sculptulas, but it's still a little bit unfortunate. There's Oh, there's definitely still something in there. Hello, number 27. 27? I'm number 27, man. All right, time for the link. What are you doing? Okay, time for the famous shooting of the masks. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow, green. Now blue. Darn. Oh boy. And this is totally optional, so there are no Sculptulas back here. There are no gold Sculptulas. This guy's a normal Sculptula, but there are no gold Sculptulas back here. I used to get a little bit annoyed when people like don't get little things like that mixed. They get little things like that mixed up. They're like, oh, here's a Sculptula. But like, no, it's a gold Sculptula, and the normal Sculptulas are enemies. The gold Sculptulas, yes, I guess they are enemies. They don't hurt you, but... They, they hurt you, but they don't attack you, which is still technically a video game enemy, because Waddle Dees are te technically enemies. Even if they're Waddle Dees, like in Kirby's Epic Yarn, that just walk around and can't hurt you. Anyway, Kirby's Epic Yarn is interesting. The Meta Knight boss battle was like the first boss battle in that game that I was genuinely frustrated at. Do I see a guy up there? I think I do. No. It's just an edge of the cobweb. And oh no, it's the second day. It happens. These things happen. Life goes on. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in this room. I like cleaning out the cobwebs because I like things to be clean. Yeah. And uh, back in the library, I think there's still stuff in here. Like I keep insisting, there's still stuff in here. Come on. Come on, brother. You can hear it. You can hear it. And I can even... Oh, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. It's just like, yeah. Those are cabinets and they can be moved and the fact that you hear uh, the little chime every time reminded me of uh, when I was watching uh, Big Dip on a Bus's uh, custom Zelda quests in, in Z Quest and uh, and uh, for things like the boat uh, you would hear the da 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 and you would hear that chime like on every what's called like a secret trigger or something. So there'd be parts of the dungeon where you would hear da 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 da
it, it is funny. It is a funny thing. Uh, back here, but there's nothing here, so I'm going to keep making fun of myself, my past self. Oh, never mind. There is something there. All the way up there, there is indeed a guy. And, uh, yeah. Just good thing I just have a curious mind. I found it. I miss watching Big Dip on a Bus play Zelda Quests. I enjoyed watching him play Isle of the Winds for a second. Even though I, I, all I remember about that game was it was very hard and it had that one episode where he replaced everything with like these really dumb like meme sounds. And he replaced, I, I think I found what the, there was one sound that was just like C's. I found what that was from. It, it was from, um, it's from this YouTube poop called uh, oh no, it's not, it's not, because I was thinking of the one that's, well, of Fof, or Fof, we of Fof, no, it's from the one that's, uh, uh, family food, I think, it's just, uh, C's, it's like, both of those have a lot of jokes where it's just the guy they start saying a word forwards and then they start saying a word backwards and it becomes a weird word <laughs> and that's the entire entirety of the humor of it and it's great so C's also Big Tip on a Bus he's making Big Tip's Adventure 3 which looks really cool uh especially like he's putting in like some major Undertale references. Like he's, like he found a, a way to do the Undertale battle system in, in Z Quest, and that's just pretty cool. The fact that he's really exploiting that program and breaking it. So back in the library, is there anything else in the library? I don't believe so. I think the library is fine. The library has been straightened out, and that's gonna be the joke of this part. Is is that? Or these couple of videos is that everything's in the library and the library is the library and the library is good and the word was the library and the word was with the library and the library was with the library and it was good and I'm mixing my John and my Genesis and I don't care <laughs> never mind um, Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so here's the storage room again. There's definitely something in here. There's definitely something in here. I can hear it. And this Edgar Allan Poe thing is going to attack me. And uh, I'm, I'm amazed that's the first time I actually realized that the Poes were... Well, I actually thought about Edgar Allan Poe. Because those things that I think are just called bows with a B. Also, I can't wait for the opportunity to point out that the uh, four uh, ghosts in it that are from the Ocarina of Time for Forest Temple, but also appear in this game, are named after the four sisters from Little Woman. I like that detail. I like literature. I don't really know of many other uh, LPers that have taken the time to point that out, but... I don't know that that many other LPers care about literature. I mean, that's just kind of an assumption. Maybe they do. So, for, if you're an LPer and you care about literature, email me at uh, randytandypupandy at, at hotmail. No, at, at earthlink. That's better. And here, here we go. Here's the last sculpture law. And where the heck is it? Is it up there? Is it even up there? I don't know. Well, what the heck? Oh, I think I saw the time and I was like, time's passing by way too quickly, but it was too late. It's the second day already. And I explained already why that's unfortunate, so I'm not going to explain it again. But, uh, yeah, now time is moving at a slow pace. And... Okay, keep looking at the ceiling, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. That 
corner is empty. <laughs> so that corner doesn't have like the roofing. You know what I mean? He had a face that only a mother could love. If she was bl blind in one eye and had that sort of milky film over the other, you know? But still, he was my twin brother. He had the kind of face only a mother could love. If that mother was blind in one eye and had that sort of milky film over the other one, you, you know? You know what I mean? But still, he was my identical twin. And, of course I get hurt by it. And there's Skulltula number 30, folks. Congratulations, well done, congratulations. Now, let's finish off this place. Finish it off with a Grand Slam. All right, let's finish it off. So we gotta go back here again, and I think it's kind of unfair that you have to roll back up that passage, but it's possible to get back up there just rolling as the Goron. And yes, you would have the Goron mask by now. I just think it's a weird development choice. Anyway, this guy's here. This guy wasn't here before. He's here now. He says, I had no idea there was a basement here. Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. I hope this will do. I guess he wants to have it to hide from the moon. So I was pretty confused. Why didn't I get the giant wallet? But I didn't. I took too long to finish this. I finished this on the second day instead of the first. So, oh well. So I don't think I will get the giant wallet in this playthrough. So, oh well. So, good job everyone, we did it, we completed the Oceanside Spider House, and I'll see you in the next parte of Endless, uh, Majora's Mask, goodbye.